Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Hohan Thanner Tannen Hell. So uh, I'm gonna assume this is a Hellas. Yeah, sure. Or something similar to that. It says I mean, hell on it. Yeah. <laughs> Now, there's this big diatribe about this beer on the app, and it says something to the effect of like the brewer really like goes out of his way to pick the hops and yeah. get to know the the growers of these hops in that region. Um, so apparently, it's uh, it's brewed in the region of in the Hollertau region. So I'm gonna guess there's a lot of Holl Hollertau in this. Yeah, probably Hollertau Blanc, I would imagine. Because that's uh, native to that region, I think. Uh, the brewer apparently goes in out and visits all the local hop farms and checks in on the hops when they start to grow. Maybe so, yeah. yeah. Pet hops. If we thought the last one was clear, wow. this one bests it by this double. This is like, I can see the marks on the other side of the glass. That's crazy. <laughs> that's super crystal clear. Again, with the lacing thing. Yeah, all these beers that. have really amazing lacing, I feel like. A really amazing looking head, too. Um, this one just kind of forms a cap, really dissipated very quickly, but it does form this little cap around, so that's cool. Um, it's a sign of a quality brewed beer in my opinion. Let's uh, take a nose and see what this aroma is like, because I am curious. Very light on the aroma, that's the thing. I think we have to fill these up a little bit more, actually, just to get the, the aroma going on. Get more of those bubbles. Agitate it. Agitation. I, I don't get anything except for like, Biscuit cracker. Typical. Yeah, again with the grape note, like the white wine thing. Um, just an earthy sort of hoppiness there, but it's not really it's not really forceful. It's just kind of lingering. I feel like this is going to be refreshing as hell. Yeah, so do I. Ah. All right, let's dive in. <laughs> Cheers. Here. It finishes quite clean. Yeah, it finishes quick and clean, yeah. but it goes down really smooth. Like this is, if there ever was a summer beer, this is the style. A Hellas Lager yeah. is the style to do it. Yeah, this is um, good. This doesn't have any of those uh, crazy fancy seals, does it? No, it doesn't no. have really anything on the can. But it's done well. 5%, yeah, the can doesn't have anything weird on it except for the, their cool, that's a cool logo, if that's yeah. their logo. I like their pine tree. Their little pine tree CR thing, that's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, yeah, nothing special, nothing fancy. That reminds me of like 1970s beer, how simplistic it is yeah. and how like just basic. But as far as the beer goes, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, slightly peppery and, and sort of sharp on, on the uh, bitterness, but it's, it's reserved. You know, the malt character really does take over in the style of beer. Um, and it's, yeah, it's biscuity, honey, crackers, uh, that sort of thing. A little bit of grape, you know, that sort of whiny character that you get. Yeah. Um, other than that, yeah, it's a very simple uh, flavor profile and not much really to write home about. It's well no. done though. We can say well that done. it's crispy clean, like squeaky Mr. Clean Clean. Well, that's a good surprise. Yeah, I mean the, fir <laughs> the first. The, this is the thing. If I had six, <laughs> <laughs> if I had uh, a suggestion for who does this, Kalia. Kalia. Yeah. Kalia, if you're listening. I have a suggestion for you. I think if you put some of these beers right in the middle that we're experiencing now, sort of like right at the front, it would leave a bit better of an impression as you move forward throughout the month so that when you get those crappier ones in the middle, you're not so disappointed. Mm -hmm. It gets a lot of beer to look forward to. Well, yeah. not, maybe not a lot, but it, well, it's beer. It's quite a bit of beer. It's a case to look of beer, you know? Yeah, quite a bit of beer to look forward to. And if the first five are like awful, like I don't, People probably just give up like mid pack. <laughs> well, they spent sixty the freaking dollars yeah. on it. They're not gonna give up. But at the same time, it's like some people may are just like, oh, you don't yeah, want to leave that sort of impression in the first place. Yeah. Like, don't pick bad beers in your pack, right? Make them all exemplary of the style that they're in, and give me more variety. Like, give me an actual stout. Can we get an actual stout, please? Yeah. You know, maybe throw in a couple like you know porters in there. Um, some winter warmers and barley wines would be cool for the money. I mm -hmm. think that's, you know, maybe you should be doing that. Well, all right, guys, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps the channel out. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.